Alright, so we should be going live any second now, just looking at the stream, making sure that we're good. Just waiting. Yep, we are good. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Welcome back. Gonna be doing some club v club action, you know? Ah. Uh -uh. So, here we go. Just playing with the plus 10 Padres team. About to catch some bread. Here's what we're looking like on the week. 12, 6, and 1. 12 ties. Uh, no, 12 wins. 1 tie, 6 losses. <laughs> Today, Shimf plays an A- tier game. What's up, school? Ah... I don't know, I might try out some of those other baseball games that that was on your tier list. What's up, Dodgers fan? And we quickly work ahead of Angelton Simmons, 0-2. Brian Mitchell delivers the 0-2 pitch. We're underway at Petco Park, by the way. Nice three pitch um work of Simmons there. I didn't really know what I was gonna say. Jonathan Lucroy batting out the two spot against the loss for the Los Angeles Angels and he pops it up behind the plate. Hunley catches out number two. Albert Pujols now probably one of the only dangerous hitters in this lineup, telling from the one and two batters. As that one is hit foul. That one is fouled off again. So the aging Albert Pujols is fighting against Mitchell. And he takes. 1-2. The pitch. Struck him out. 2 Ks in the inning for Brian Mitchell. Chris Sale now. Facing Freddie Galvis. Galvis hits it well out to right. The catch will be made just in front of the warning track. Looks like I can't really tell. Those camera angles are just awful. Gotta get some more camera angles. Maintenance on Tuesday instead of Wednesday screwed some people badly. How did it screw some people over? Yeah, I recognize your profile picture. Bets. Chase Headley, the next one to face Sale. Sale misses inside with the cutter there. One ball, no strikes. To the switch hitting third baseman. Headley is a plus 10 2012 World's Best card when he had his best season in the majors with the San Diego Padres. He hits it well out to right center field. Adios, pelota. Solo shot there for Chase Headley gives us a 1-0 lead. If I'm being 100% honest, I feel like this matchup is a little unfair. One of the... Oh, good slider there. One of the many issues... Consecutive login streaks? Oh, yeah. Oh, that must suck. Yeah, I've had my streak broken a couple times. Hit well to center. Trout makes the catch. Nice little run and grab by Trout there. But, yeah, it sucks losing the consecutive login streaks. Once you get to, like, 60 days, the rewards are really good. Adrian Gonzalez hits that one out to left for a base hit. Yeah, I doubt a whole lot of people would, like, be staying up to, like, midnight when the maintenance is over. So they missed out. Hit out to left center field. That's going to fall in for a base hit. S Gonzalez is rounding second, going to third. He is in there safely with a head for slide. Good heads up base running there. Should have sent Upton towards second. Regardless, here is Salarte. He takes inside for a ball. Ooh, nice paint there by Sale. Nice paint. I don't even log into the game except to record videos anymore. Yeah, honestly, the game has just been, like, dying. 
the as you said before in your tier I think it was in your tiers video or it was one of your other videos the game's gameplay's been gameplay's just been getting repetitive I mean I like it because I kind of I don't know I don't really know why honestly I don't know I guess it's just like a little bit of fun for me probably gonna end up streaming other games eventually. Arnado hits it out to right. Renfro camps under it. One out. Here's Mike Trout. 110 power on Trout to 101 contact as he hits a base hit there. A little unusual for a Trout card. I haven't really noticed that. Must have some equipment on him to boost his power. All the Trouts I've seen... That I can remember all have like decent, like pretty balanced contact and power. This one is hit out to right. Renfro racing on it. Dives and he made the catch. Nice play there by Hunter Renfro. Technically, I believe Renfro is supposed to be a left fielder. However, with Upton in left, he moves over to right and he can handle himself just well over there. Uh, speaking of, people who can hand handle their positions well, Headley makes the play. Out number three, going to the eighth, looking to grab some more insurance runs. Not like we really need any, to be honest. Hit to short. Simmons dives, and he made the catch. Man, Simmons is a good defender. He li Simmons is just one of those guys. He's going to make every single play, and he'll make some of those plays you don't think that can be made. In real life... And in the game, but I guess everyone kind of does it in the game. Unless they're out of position. Simmons in real life is a really good defender. As Villanueva cranks that one, it's going to one-hop the wall. Calhoun has a good arm, we're going to hold him to a single. You miss Machado as a Dodger. Hey, he is not doing very well in a Padre uniform, to be honest. Hitting about 260 with 9 home runs, I think. It's not terrible, I mean, it's above average, but... It's not like... Leno had his streaks broken on all three of his accounts, and he uh, emailed Gameville, asked them to fix, and they told him, no, yeah, Gameville has terrible customer service, dude. Gameville honestly sucks. This one is hit out to left. It is a routine flyout for Upton. My pitching with the gameplay is that pitching is too easy. Yeah, I feel like they're going to have one real chance... I feel like the game before it truly dies is going to have, um, it's going to have one more year, unless they can fix pitching. The pitching needs to be reworked. I feel like the pitching in games like the show, where pitching is a little harder, and honestly, there needs to be a new game mode or something. I'm not saying that Perfect Inning should evolve into um, MLB The Show, but there's a reason why MLB The Show has been around for so long and that has captivated many baseball fans as audi- Not audiences, what am I saying? It's captured so many baseball fans. It's something that MLB PI has struggled to, even being a mobile game as it is. You see, Tap Sports Baseball has, for some reason, captured the attention of many baseball fans as Simmons will fly out to Renfro to end the ball game. We win 3 nothing. Not a fair matchup at all. I had twice as many ranking points as that guy. Yeah, I kind of get on during the weekends and sometimes during the week so I can keep my pro ranking up. Because you have to play five games. I'm going to start playing nine innings. Nine, 2019 on my channel. Even though that game is incredibly wallet warrior oriented. Honestly this game is too to be honest. I mean like. Realistically the best team. In this point of time. That you could build without spending money. I think would be a very low A plus. Somewhere around 1400. Honestly, they should reset the teams. Yeah, I've that's what I've been thinking. 
That's what I've been thinking for a while. Everyone's teams are just becoming too stacked at this point, to be honest. But they shouldn't just do it to like in the beginning, like in the middle of the season. Like right now, I think they should wait till 2020. And we'll be PI 2020. I don't know. I think the game is just dying. I, there's unless they like put in some kind of game mode that imp, that game that, like revolutionizes the game and brings something that no other baseball game has. I don't know. I feel like they're being lazy. I know Gameville's a big com a quote unquote big company and all, and they have other games to work on. I don't know. To be honest, P.I. is just kind of doomed to fail. How, how is that hit for a home run? That's a plus two Miguel Andujar. That pitch was a ball, and he hits it for a home run, dude, this game. Was that a plus two Andujar? No, it's a plus seven Andujar, my bad. But seriously, though, come on. Alpha Ran plus ten Randy Jones. Alpha of a plus ten... Legend, not legend, classic Randy Jones. Uh, Cubs on BPI Gaming, I'm not dip playing against viewers. Come on, turn two, on to second for one, on to first double play. Alright, we're trailing by two. Yeah, I'm not playing against viewers today, we're just doing club battles. Uh, and we pop out to second. Tap Sports Baseball made $6 million in May. That's quite a bit. No other baseball game even made $1 million in May. Honestly, like, I feel like the game is trending at such a downward pace. And I feel like eventually they're going to implement ads, to be honest. And if that happens, I'm uninstalling the game and not playing it. Like, Gameville is such a greedy company, I'm surprised they haven't implemented ads already, to be honest. <laughs> well, apparently a lot of people play Tap Sports Baseball. To make six million dollars. I don't get why people play Tap Sports Baseball so much. I think it's... The only reason I can think is advertising. I mean, of my knowledge, they're the only bit mobile baseball game that advertises. Like, re like I know that advertises recently. If I feel like if Gameville did try to advertise their game, their fan base would grow. Their player base would grow. Plus five, world's best world's... World's best Mike Trout at the plate. Why has there been so many videos about, like, people taken before Mike Trout? Like, I've seen... I know the draft came around and all, but, like, it's kind of old, to be honest. What's up, gamers, says Ian. We're epic gamers here. Can no fouls that one off. Going with the breaking ball low from Jones. Lays off it. Good take there by Cano, the steroid user. We don't know if he used steroids when he was with the Yankees. Hit the center. May have been going back on it. At the wall, he looks up. It is gone. I think that's going to be the night for Randy Jones. Coming into the game is going to be Brad Brock. No assist replaced Tap Sports Baseball. So maybe people uh, want to marry into Noah's family. Yo, any anything to impress the chicks, dude. Yo, you, you're trying to impress a girl with like... I don't know, some... Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a good baseball player. Um, Some George Springer card and Tap Sports Baseball. Yo, you're going to get all of the girls. Let's be honest here. If they take, play Tap Sports... Gonna get all the chicks. To center for a base hit. Cause Trout was drafted ten Oh, was he? Oh. Oh yeah. I 
All right, Judge stepping in a bat. There goes the runner. Pitches a strike throw down to second. It's going to be late. Stealing also is another thing that needs to be fixed in the game, to be honest. Stealing bases is a little easy. I mean, I feel like speed, honestly, doesn't even factor into the equation of stealing. Either the guy gets a good jump and he steals second, or he gets a really good jump and my catcher takes, like, two seconds to even get the ball out of his glove. And he's safe by mile. Here is Drew's Familia. Probably trying to close it out. Ball misses inside. Although you're better off playing glue games the best game. The Kim Kardashian game. They should we should make a tier list for uh Gameville's games. 2-2 pitch to Upton. Sinker crushed out to left. That is going to one-hop the wall. Upton on his horse heading into second. Acuna does not have a very good arm. He is into second with a stand-up double. Dodgers versus Twins in the World Series. I w I'm not going to rule that out real quick. I'm not ruling that out. I mean, Twins have been real hot. I don't know if I'm quite believing in the Twins yet, but if they keep doing what they're doing, man, I'm going to be a believer. Their division is just so shallow. I mean, the Indians are struggling. They just lost Carlos Carrasco. They're, they might ship out their starters. They might ship out Brad Hand. Central is just a mess right now except for the Twins. No one to really compete. You know, if Jose Ramirez doesn't start doing well for the Indians there it's an easy dub for the twins in the central I really thought the twins should have gotten Keichel I thought I think the twins are just a couple pieces away hit the center that's gonna be caught not gonna try to tag there's a few pieces away twins are a few pieces away like, if they got out, I'm, I'm not very familiar with the Twins lineup, but if they went out there, I don't know, maybe got Encarnacion, because he's swinging a hot bat, maybe even Jay Bruce. Now, two Phillies wouldn't chip out Jay Bruce, never mind. I'm going to do Man Mobile and Mobile Game Developer tier list next, I think. All right, all right. Jake Odorizzi, I believe that's his name. He's been good for the Twins in the rotation. It's June and Jose Ramirez's OPS is 597. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to remind me. I have Jose Ramirez on my baseball fantasy team. You don't need to remind me. <laughs> Hit to set. Why do we keep flying out to Trout? I was trying to do. We've been in good counts. Dodge need more bullpen arms? Yeah. They might end up getting Brad Hand. What the twin? I don't know. I was just thinking of pieces that could be moved. Hit the center. Stop flying out to Trout! Alright, we're right in the ninth. I'm gonna bring in Yates to hold the deficit. I don't know why, but Yates has been lights out this week. 0.63 ERA, one loss though, two wins, five saves. And I'm pretty sure his whip is really low too. Twins need a four starter and bullpen help. Yeah. Who's the Twins' third baseman? Because I know the Nationals might ship out Anthony Rendon. And if they do, go to the Twins. I would, I would make them really dangerous. I mean, oh, it's Sin wait, Sano's your third baseman. I don't know. I know Sano's been up and down, though. I think he's hot right now, though. But Rendon on the Twins, woo. I don't know much about the Twins' bullpen, but... 
I mean, not bullpen farm system. The starter market right now is going to be looking very rich. Trevor Bauer is obviously out there. But I don't think they'd ship him to a division rival. Didn't Williams Acidio just get sent down to the minors though, RIP? Oh, he's got second base easy. Yeah, the, I threw a splitter there. Yates' splitter in this game is more like a fork ball, if that makes sense. Like, his, it doesn't have much movement to it. It's just thrown really slow. Alright, Yates is coming out of the game. Bringing in Will Myers. Sano Marwin Gonzalez. Martin Gonzalez can kind of play anywhere, though. And Rendon has just been such a hot bat. Max Scherzer hasn't been doing terribly this year. I mean, like, for his standards, he's been doing bad, but he's been doing pretty good. The Calvis crushes this one out to right center fi right field. Adios, pelota. And now we trail by just two runs here. Let's see if we can get a blown save on Jerice's record. Yeah, Asadio's kind of been swinging a cold bat. I've been thinking of picking up in fantasy. La Tortuga. 1-2. This one's going to be hit out to left. That's going to fall in for a base hit in front of Acuna. That brings up the tying run to the plate now. Hunter Renfro. One swing of the bat could dramatically tie this game. Headley, 125 speed, a stolen base threat. I don't think I really want to send him, though. So one's going to make it to center. Trout catches it, however. Man, this guy is just spamming sinker splitter, dude. Luis Urias. Is that how you say his name was a beast? I don't know. I, I don't know who that is, but I know the Twins have a lot of underrated players. Buxton's also been doing well. I wouldn't say Buxton's doing well this year, but he's starting to live up to form. Hit out to left center field. That's going to get down. That is going to get down. Acuna gets it in quickly. Holds Gonzalez to a long single. And somehow, Headley is only at third. Now, Justin Upton coming up to bat. We're actually going to call time and get some better speed on first. Eric Hosmer coming into the game. I recently boosted him up. That one is high. I reckon we're going to send Hosmer. Or not. But we're sending Hosmer for its pitch here. Against whoever he brings in. Chad Green. Okay. 15 ERA. We're sending Hosmer. Pitches a strike. Third. There's no third down second. Call it catches indifference. The 2 1 pitched Upton. Alright, so he's likely going to walk Upton here with a 3 1 count on him and first base open. No. Okay. We can't send the runners here. Because if he walks. No, that was a two-seamer. Oh, I should have laid off. Hey, Lucas Butler, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Yikes. He was 9 for 24 while he was up here to fill for Cruz and Garver being injured. Chris Garver, like, I really like, I'm um, not, Chris Garver, who's Chris Garver? Mitch Garver, like, I really like that guy as a catcher. He's on my fantasy team. He's on my all-star ballot, actually. Even though you had to write him in. Mitch Garver is kind of underrated. He's hitting, like, what, 320 or something with nine home runs? Ten, maybe, even? Because he had a home run recently. He's been doing really well, especially for the catcher's position. One of the most depleted positions in baseball. 
offensively at least. I were facing the number 65 ranked player in the world. I gotta look up, look into the twins. If they could get like a, a really good starter. I can't really think, maybe like, hmm, I don't know, maybe Caleb Smith from the Marlins. Maybe he'd be good. The Marlins will obviously be selling. Brad Ziegler, he had 49, 49 innings. So I have a feeling I know who's going to be staying in this game. Hit to left. Well struck. Adios, pelota. Lead off shot for Freddie Galvis. Off of Brad Ziegler. And the sinkers head out to left. Davis catches out number one. Is Garver not the Twins' primary catcher? I thought he was. Or are they just easing him back? Because I thought they're just easing him back. Because Garver can do so much with the bat. Barrios is a really good starter. Yeah, but I feel like most playoff teams need that... I don't know. Like, if they could get a solid rotation, like a Barrios... Um, Barrios, Odorizzi... I don't know. Then you insert a third starter. Like an innings eater. Really solidifies the rotation for the Twins. This one is hit out to right center field. That's going to fall in the gap. Wild throw by Chu. And it is now first and third with two outs now. A little bit of action going. We're sending up to first pitch. Ball is high. Throw to second. Not in time. This one is hit up the middle. Nice play by Jeanette. Throw to first is going to be in time. Inning over. Damage done, though. Freddy Galvis with a solo shot in the inning. Gives us a 1-0 lead. Here's Jay Bruce, who is red hot in real life. Will he be red hot in the game? He and he will fly out to left. I don't know. But Castro plays too much either way. Yeah. Garver is a really good starter. I mean, catcher. I really like Garver. Right now, I think the Twins, of my knowledge, they have three All-Stars on their team right now. Just off the top of my head, I can think of Barrios, Odorizzi, and um, Garver as their three All-Stars. Johnny Bench now, plus 10 catcher, legend, by Dewey. No, he has spent no money on the game at all, 100%. I don't know, I think I might end up transitioning into an MLB channel. My only concern is that I'd want to show MLB clips as I talk, and I don't, but I don't really want to deal with copyright. Payoff pitch to bench. Shuck him out looking. Nicely done, Randy Jones. Heading to the 8th. Padres still have a one nothing lead. Oh, how did I forget about Jorge Polanco? He's like an, a legit MVP candidate. I, I have no clue how I forgot about Polanco. CJ Krohn? Yeah, when I was filling out my All-Star ballot, um, there were not a lot of good, a, a lot of good AL for its basemen. Unless you're a Yankees bandwagon. Polanco's been doing well, you know, coming off of the steroids and stuff. I think he'll be good. Kind of having a breakout season. Popped up. Why'd I swing at that? Out number one. 
Cameron Mabin. Oh, it's Mabin. I was swinging at that bitch, too. <laughs> We're bringing in Hedges to pinch head against the right-hander. I kind of have a platoon go situation. Two seventy five fourteen home runs, forty RBI. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Ball one high. We're gonna send Mapin here hundred and twenty six speed. Pitch the ball throw to second, not in time. Hundred and twenty six speed, very hard to catch. Who'd you vote for AL and NL center fielders? You don't really vote for center fielders, you vote for more outfield. But if I had to pick center fielders, I would say George Springer of the Houston Astros and in the National League. Cody Bellinger, if he is a center fielder. I don't really know much about him. I think he played center field like once. Um, I don't know. I might make a video later today talking about my all-star ballot. This one is crushed to center. Chew there. Best center fielder in the National League. I'm probably just going to forget somebody. <laughs> Yelich is a corner outfielder. And I'm pretty sure Bellinger is too. Uh, I don't know. I'd put... Shim just pretends my chat doesn't exist. I mean, if you look at George Springer's numbers this year, if you look at George Springer's numbers this year, they're better than Trout's. George Springer is on fire. I know he's injured right now. He's on the IL. But when he was healthy, he was on a tear. I don't know. I'd say put Yelich in center. He's played center field before with the Marlins. You know, it's been a couple years, but. And there goes runner. Pitches a ball. Throw to second. Skull, do you know anything about uh, how to use copyrighted MLB clips? Because I know that you can use them, but I think that there's certain clips you can use. Because, you know. Channels like Draft Neck Mark, among others. Bellinger plays more center field than Yelich. Yeah, I don't know. One of those two in center. Hmm. Is anyone else surprised about how the Padres are playing well? Like, I know they're only one or two games above 500, but to be honest, going into the season, I did not expect that, like, at all. Kind of with the introduction of Tatis, he, we, Padres have been playing well. They got the walk-off against the Nationals last night. That was fun. Hit out to right center. That is going to g find a gap. And that is going to be a double for Adrian Gonzalez. There we go. Looking for some insurance runs. I know there's ways to get partnerships with sports vehicles. I mean, sports leagues. What? I can't read. Sports leagues to share their content and split profits to avoid copyright issues. Popped out to second. Uh, so that's how people do it. Yeah, it's complicated. Strike one, two, Scooter Jeanette. I haven't really been paying attention to the game. Did you like that I picked Tatis Jr. for your fantasy build? Fantasy draft rebuild. Yeah, I did. 
I actually really like Tatis. I think he's going to do well. Skip, are you going to do team reviews? Probably not, no. I don't know if you're talking to me or Skull, though. <laughs> Our names both start with um, S's, and uh, there was a P there. <laughs> I am not in summer right now. I have finals next week. And you can tell that I'm obviously spending my time studying for finals, if anyone asks. Yeah, my finals start Monday. Obviously. Spending time, amazingly. 0 2 pitch to Jay Bruce. I think Tatis is going to be like a legit 30-30 threat. 30 stolen bases, 30 steals. I mean, 30... What? 30 steals, 30 homers? Votto takes a called strike there from Yates. Votto cranks that one out to right center field. That is going to get down. That is going to be a double for Joey Votto. And now the tying run is on. Kirby Yates, for me, has a point three one whip, by the way. Just wanted to throw that out there. Billy Hamilton, speedy boy, on second base now. I don't think he's going to steal third. I kind of want to, like play a baseball game where I can act like the GM. Kind of like uh, your fantasy draft rebuild team skull. I think that would be fun for a live stream. That would be fun. Astros down their final strike and he pops it up to second. Solarte catches. Kirby Yates gets the save. Nicely done, Kirby. Nicely done. We win one to nothing. And we get 300 ranking points. Promotion game time. Hmm. Skull, didn't the fantasy, um, fantasy rebuild team game that you cost played cost money, right? I want to find like a free version of that. Cause I, cause I like. Being able to draft people and stuff. And like dealing with the uh. Dealing with uh. What am I saying? I like dealing with like the. Like contracts and stuff. I think being an MLB GM is fun. Only problem with that game is that it costs five bucks. Yeah. I just told Noah's grandma you're studying. Oh. Th thanks school. Glad she won't take my tablet. Zobris hits it back to Richard. And that was not me sending emojis. So, looks like we might be dealing with an emoji spammer list. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Austin Meadows, who has been red hot in real life. Meadows is really good right now. Lucas Butler says, uh, trying to stay active, but it's terrible. Should be easier to rank up, yeah. Yeah, it's so hard to get a team going. 2-2, Two -two to Meadows, hit the center. That is going to fall in for a base hit just in front of Cameron Mabin. So with one out now, there's a runner on first for Tommy Pham. Is this an all-raise team? I believe it is. Ball one inside. Ooh, just low, just low. 2-0. Richard delivers. It's a called strike. Gonna check on Meadows. 96 speed, we could probably catch him stealing, but... I don't trust his stealing in this game. 3-1 pitch. Swung on and missed. Now we're gonna go with the two-seamer. Payoff pitch to Fam. Struck him out looking. 1K for Richard. 
Clayton Richard now with the Toronto Blue Jays. Hit to first. R Gonzalez flips to Richard. Who gets the out at first? We go to the sev bottom seven. Facing Blake Snell. This is indeed. 0 0.38 ERA from Snell. That's a little interesting. And fail pitch. And Gon Galvis does not miss that one. Crush to right field. Adios, pelota. Solo shot there for Freddy Galvis. So there we go. That run may be the lone difference in this game. Because I have a feeling that this is going to be a pitcher's duel. Because that point three eight ERA is pretty low. Because this one is hit out to right. I don't know how I'm hitting this now. Or maybe he's just been playing against complete bots. And he's 25 innings pitched. Just from that, Snell's ERA has almost doubled. Clayton Richard, yeah. Richard's not a very good pitcher in real life. Sending Headley. Pitches a ball. Throw to second. There is no throw to second. Throw to third, actually. Why not? 1-1 one, one pitch, not on a run throw from Blake Snell. So when it's hit on the ground, we're going to try to go to third. And we will get to third. There we go. Alright, so run on third. Less than two outs. Big guy, Adrian Gonzalez. One of the all-time Padre greats. Anything on the ground, I'm going for. So when it's hit to center, this should score the run. Diving catch by Kiermaier. Cannot get up in time. And... We're safe! Are we? Dude, this game is so bad. Sack flies don't even work. Oh my god. Really? I should be ahead 2 nothing right now. Alright, see you school. Have a good Madden stream. Thanks for tuning in. Here is Absurdo Cabrera. Hit back to Richard. He throws the first. One out. I'm leaving this Saturday coming up for. Coming up for what? Yeah, sack flies barely work in this game. Like, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. So, like... Like game bad. There we go. Second strikeout for Clayton Richard. Clayton Richard has retired the last four batters he has faced. Kiermaier. Hits it to right. Falling fast. Renfro running in. He'll make the catch, however. Going to the bottom of the eighth. Leading by just one run. Look enough. Get some insurance. Here is Salarte. This one is hit out to right. Really nice job by Salarte. They're staying on that breaking ball. Most of the time, what pitchers will try to do when they throw the breaking ball, they'll try to get the hitter to uh, get on top of it. You know, hit the top half of the baseball so it goes on the ground. Typically, not a lot of hard contact is made when that happens. But for the breaking ball, you can just stay on it. As Hunley drives that fastball into right... It is going to be a base hit. It is, it is going to be first and third now with nobody out for the Padres here. Going to put better speed on first. Going to put some pressure on him. Going to apply some pressure. Here's Mabin. Hit on the ground. We're going four. No, we're not. And they get the double play. We should have broken home. Should have broken home. We're going to Mexico. All right, bringing in the very much platoon hitter, Christian Villanueva, who's not even in the major leagues anymore. He's in the Japan League. 140 lefty contact, 135 power. I've never actually been to Mexico, weirdly enough. Popped up to right. Shortstop drifting out makes a catch. All right, so we have one run to work with. Not much w wiggle room here. Going to bring in our lights out closer, Kirby Yates. 0.55 ERA, 6 saves, and 16 innings pitched. 
Here we go. Steelers Kirby. Hit on, hit on a line to Solarte at second. I have no clue why Kirby, like, actually works. I don't know why the Padres released me in a way, but they released him. Well, because, one, they they signed Manny Machado. Two, they, uh... The Christian Villanueva actually wanted to be released. He wanted to play in the Japan League for some reason. So the Padres followed through and they released Villanueva. He was doing well. I think he had 20 home runs in his rookie season, batting around 240. Which just isn't terrible. Especially for a rookie. He had a bright future. Because they signed Machado, yeah. They actually released Villanueva before they were rumored to, uh, before all the rumors came up that they were going to sign Machado. So I don't know if it was the Padres' plan from the beginning of the offseason to sign Machado. Zobris takes a called strike one here. Going to throw a change up. And that one misses high. Going to throw a splitter now. I believe the splitter and the changeup mask each other pretty well. There we go. Going to throw a splitter down here, and we're going to set up the fastball. After seeing an 81-mile-an-hour splitter, then you see a 97-mile-an-hour fastball. That, that fastball looks like it's coming in at 105. All right. One more splitter, then we're going to just blow him away. Just going to blow him away here. Oh, nope, struck him out. Ball game over. Padres win, and we win the promotion game. For some reason, I played a promotion game getting into Pro S against a semi-pro team. That does not make sense to me at all. But that's that's how MLB PI works. That's, that's just how it works. When will Kyle Lloyd be back in the majors? I do not know. I don't even know if he is still in the Padres organization. I don't think he is. Have you ever played nine in, nine innings 2019? I have not, but I am gonna try it out. I I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna try it out. I want to find some kind of game where I can be like an MLB GM. I know there's GM nine innings, but that's kind of scuffed. What's up, Tight Too Tight? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to All-Star this week. Don't think that's happening. Do you have plus 10 Kyle Lloyd? I do actually. I have. I do have the plus 10 Kyle Lloyd still. I do. Alright, Clayton Richard back on the mound after pitching the last game. Jose Altuve leading it off here for the White Sox wearing the Red Sox uniforms as that is a base hit into right. So a good start here for the Sox. I'm just going to call them Sox. Mike Trout takes a cutter running in on the hands. No, more like the waist for a ball. Nice little strike there. Going to check on Altuve. Because we're going to be throwing a slow pitch here. I did not mean to check on him twice. I, my hand slipped. Here we go. Throwing a change up now. Trying to get him off balance. And that is exactly what we did. Here we go. One, two pitch. Two seamer catches the inside corner for a strike. First strike out on the night for Clayton Richard facing Mookie Betts now. Cranked out to right. That is going to be off the bottom of the wall. This might score the run. This will score the run. It is an RBI double here for Mookie Betts. As the Sox will now lead one to nothing. Going to start him off with the fastball. Taken. Strike. And that is another strike. Here we go. 0-2 pitch now to Green. He takes. Check on bets. Richard spirals off. 
One, two, the pitch! Fouled off down the third base line. And struck him out. Two strikeouts now for Clayton Richard. Here is Ernie Banks. Shortstop for the Sox. The, diff the other Chicago team. Keiko is going to the Braves. Yes, Keiko is going to the Braves. <laughs> Kyle Lloyd is, sit is on the Armarillo Sod Poodles. Yo, that means he was just playing with Tatis then because Tatis had a rehab assignment there. Why don't you have Kyle Lloyd in the starting lineup? Cuz, I don't know. So one is hit out to left. Well struck. That is going to get to the wall. Pools does not have a very good arm. How does he throw straight to second? Are you serious? Half of my time, Hunter Renfro can't throw the ball. Oh my gosh. How does he throw the ball straight to second? This game sometimes, dude. This game. Hunter Renfro now. Takes a cutter. Called strike. So when it's hit to center. How? Why are you all the way out there? Why? Why? Why are there two center fielders? Oh my gosh. This game bad. Swear, if I get game filled, I'm uninstalling the game. I am uninstalling the game on stream. There we go, strike three. Uh, Miguel Cabrera fouls that one off. Strike one. Crush to center. More like a... Routine fly ball. Out number two. All right, time's been called. If Kyle Lloyd was in, uh, <laughs> was in Shim's lineup, this stream would need to have uh, the gone sexual flair added. All right, Skull. All right. Harper is now the catcher, and he will fly out to center. All right, I don't know if he has a backup catcher, but we're stealing. If we can get him a runner on, we're stealing automatically, even if it's third. Crushed out to right center field. That is going to be off the top of the wall. Trout will get it in. Man, Gonzalez was really close to a home run there. Dude, there's no way Bryce Harper catches Adrian Gonzalez. There we go. Exactly how I envisioned it. Alright, defense drawn back. We're going home on a ground ball. Going home on a ground ball. Why throw the curveball in the middle of the zone? I don't know. Swan has popped up to the second center fielder, Ernie Banks, who makes the catch. Here is Solarte. Come on, anything on the ground. Hit to center. I swear. This better work. This better work. Alright. Are you serious? This game is so bad. Honestly. Honestly. This game is so bad. Honestly, game bad. Game is just bad. This game is so bad. This game is actually so bad. Like, uh, that ball game should be tied. But now it's... Oh my gosh. Dude, screw this game, honestly. Screw this game. Thanks for tuning in. Screw the game. Screw the game. Screw this. Peace out.